Today, we're cooking up a homemade soup. This one is tasty and it is hearty. We're going to be using some acorn squash. If you've never had acorn squash before, you will enjoy this soup. It's a wonderful one. We're going to talk about cooking these. We're going to talk about making the soup. So stick around and let me show you how that's done. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. I am Chef Johnny, and yes, today we're making soup. I pretty much have everything already prepared, so it's going to go pretty quick. And just to let you know, to cook these acorn squash will take you about an hour. So I usually do mine the day before or a couple of days before. That way I have that done, and also the roasted uh, poblano peppers. I do those ahead of time, so uh, I don't have to spend all day in the kitchen doing that. But those have been done. My uh, squash is made. Come in here close, let me show you how we get this done. Now, I've dropped five ounces of butter, that's a stick and a quarter, into my pot, have that melted, ready to go in with two and a half pounds of diced white onion. This was uh, three large onions is what it was. About two and a half pounds, might be off a little bit here or there, but pretty close. So that's going in, gonna start sauteing that. That's in, got it coated with our butter real good. I'm gonna add about Oh, it's a cup and three quarters of celery diced up. Also use some of the celery leaves for good flavor. Stir that in. We're gonna cook this until these vegetables get tender. And once they're tender, we'll get back with you, show you the next step. Next thing we're gonna do is I got five ounces of flour. It's gonna go in. Right, here we go, just gonna dump in this flour. Get it stirred in with my vegetables real good. And that's gonna be our, our thickening agent, right? For this soup to help thicken it up. And we're just gonna cook it long enough to get rid of the raw uh, flour taste in there. But get it stirred in real good. The, uh, the flour's been cooked down and uh, it's ready to have the broth added. So 10 cups of chicken stock, it's in. And that's just a prepared base, just uh, prepare it in the way that it, it asks you to on the directions. Or if you wanna you buy uh, chicken stock, you can do that or make your own, works wonderful. I do have a recipe for chicken stock. I'll put that link down below so y'all can find it. Now I have a tablespoon of dill weed. I'm gonna sprinkle it in, get it stirred in good, and two teaspoons of curry powder. Guys, I don't remember where I got, this isn't my recipe. I might have adjusted it a little bit, but I don't remember where I got this one from, but it's a good, it's a good soup, you'll enjoy it. Got our next step ready, and that is our two pounds of poblano peppers. Gonna drop those in, they've been roasted. Again, I'll put the uh, video on how to roast peppers. Is actually, I did a red bell pepper that day, but same process of doing a poblano. So we're gonna drop these in. Once I get all this in, we're gonna bring this back up to a simmer, get it nice and warm, and uh, then we're gonna puree it. Have a little cayenne just in case the peppers, you can't ever tell about a poblano. Sometimes they're real hot, sometimes they're not. So, got a little cayenne that if it's, you don't get enough burn, you want about two seconds, right? Just, you kind of taste it, you get the burn, maybe three and it's, it goes away. If we don't have that, we'll add just a little bit of cayenne. Remember, a little bit at a time, because uh, you can always add, can't take it out, so. Next thing going in is all of our acorn squash. These are the meat out of the squash, did not use the skins. But we're gonna start uh, picking this up and dipping these in. Just put it up here, and just give me a spoonful and carefully drop it in so we don't splash it everywhere. And again, just be careful not to splash this hot soup up on you. Once you kind of get, start getting more of it in, you go a little faster, but right at first, especially be real careful. Don't splash up that hot soup. But there's our 15 pounds of uh, acorn squash already cooked in the oven, they've been baked. Squash is in, gonna stir it in good, warm it up, then we're gonna get our stick blender and we're gonna puree it. As you can see, this is really, really thick. Uh, the cream is gonna thin it out some. If you still don't have it thin enough, all you have to do is, is add some more chicken broth to thin it. But we're just gonna work this uh, squash in, into the uh, liquid real good get it warm, and then we're gonna puree it. And if we need to, we will uh, add some chicken stock. I'm gonna drop in some black pepper. 
maybe a little less than a tablespoon. Stir that in good. Not going to salt it until the end because remember, my base is salty, so don't want to get too much salt in there. So we'll wait to do salt to the end. This soup's getting hot again. Got my stick blender. This is pretty thick. We may have to thin it some. May go ahead and put in a little bit of my cream uh, to do that with, but uh, we're gonna start trying to thin this out with our stick blender and get it blended up real good. tell this is smoothing up a lot, getting the big chunks out of it, but that's what we want to see. I have my cream on the stove warming up, so we're going to add warm cream to this in just a minute. Cream's not in yet, but I can tell you this, it can use a little bit of salt, so I'm going to add a little bit of salt in, sampled it just a little, and remember, your chicken base has always got salt in it, so be careful unless you buy chicken broth that's, you know, no salt. But add a little bit of salt in. We'll uh, adjust it again once we get the cream in. I think the heat level is gonna be good, but this is looking good. I also added a little bit more chicken broth, about another two cups, so went from 10 cups to 12. So we got three quarts in there. Had to just thin it down a little bit. It's a little bit too thick. Try this one now. Oh yeah, that's better right there. Once we get the cream in, We'll adjust our salt and our pepper and uh, see what we need there. But let me check on the cream. If it's hot, we're gonna come in here with it and start making our soup. Quick little tip here is remember this. Um, you're gonna be a little bit hot right now because of the peppers, the cream's not in there. That cream is going to calm down your heat a little bit. So right now you may go, ooh, that's a little bit hot. But once you add the cream, it's gonna calm down your heat. Should be just fine, so remember that. Also, while we're waiting on that cream to heat up, remember to check out Heads or Tails hats. They're the official hat of Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Guys, these are great hats. Uh, the Feimster Ranch Collection is the hat that I wear, and Rick and his guys over there are great. So check them out if you would, please, and tell them Chef Johnny sent you over there. Our heavy cream has come up to a simmer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it in with our soup now. Let's get that poured in. Now we're just gonna stir these in, get them incorporated real good with the cream. If you wanted to add your cream in cold and bring it all up, you could. It just, uh, I thought it works a little faster by me warming the cream first. This is gonna be a fantastic soup. I promise you, it will warm the soul. This is hearty, it's tasty, it's homemade. Hard to beat a soup like that. I think that's incorporated real good. They're blended well. So what I'm gonna do next is just let this warm up a little bit more put it in a bowl, get it served up, show you how we plate it. And uh, I think you're gonna like this soup, so give it a try and remember it in the comments down below. Tell me what you think about it, give it a try, then come back and say, hey, I tried that recipe. Always wanna hear what y'all think about my dishes and always like to hear that people tried them. So uh, let's get this uh, up and plated. And once we do that, we'll give it a taste and let y'all know what we think about it. I'm gonna sample this, see if I need to adjust my seasons any. That's good. Gonna add a little bit more salt to it. The heat, just a very, very little heat. That's good. You wanna taste it kind of in the back of your throat, maybe last two to three seconds and then that's it. If you're not there, add that cayenne pepper. I'm gonna try it one more time and see if I think I need to add any cayenne. I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne. Maybe a teaspoon, maybe a half a teaspoon. Those poblanos, you just can't ever tell about them. Sometimes they got some good heat to them, sometimes they don't. So, this time they were a little more mild. But always check yours first. And remember, you can always add, you can't take out. So, if it's too hot without the cayenne, remember this. You can always add a little more cream, thin it down a little bit. You can even add some uh, pureed potatoes. That'll pull some of that heat out to give you more volume in this. Be tough to add more squash, takes an hour to cook it, but 
You could do some potatoes, you could do things like that in here to, to thicken this up and to also to uh, take out some of the heat if you got it too hot. All right, let's try it with cayenne in it. Uh, I think the cayenne, the heat level's fine on the, on the peppers. Gonna let it heat up just a little bit more. Then I'll get some in a bowl and kind of show you the presentation for it. And then we'll put it in an individual bowl to give it a try. This soup is looking pretty. Going to take some bacon bits, just fried up some bacon, chopped it up. We're going to put those across the top for a garnish. Going to kind of serve this family style today. And then I'll have some more I'll add to our individual bowls, again, just for appearance. It will give it a nice little savory flavor to add to what we have. But that is our garnish. That is to just uh, help the, the soup pop when you look at it. Got my individual serving bowl. I'm going to take this and give me a nice dipper of my soup. Then again, a few crumbles of bacon on top. A very pretty bowl of soup. We're going to give this one a try. See how it turned out. Got a little bit of my bacon in there. Those poblanos are going to give it some nice, nice little little bite to it. It's going to be a ton of flavor, full of flavor right now. Oh, yeah. That is a, a great hearty bowl of soup right there. Man. There you have it. Another great soup from Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. I always do enjoy cooking these dishes for you. Remember to tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. Guys, that's the way we grow. Number one way to support this channel is by watching all my videos, top to bottom, all the way, all the way from the beginning to the end. Hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, and then share, share, share these videos around. Have your friends and family share them around. Help me grow this channel to 100,000 subscribers. I'm over 40,000 now. And I want to get to 100, so I'd really appreciate it if y'all would help me do that. But hope you enjoyed my uh, acorn squash and poblano pepper soup that I made for you today. Give it a try down in the comments. Tell me what you think about it. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. And we'll see y'all down the road. So long, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.